My day was really good, sir. How about your day? Hmm, my day was pretty good too because uh, you know today was the ninth day of Navratri festival, and I broke my fast. I got to eat a lot of good stuff. So halwa is my favorite, by the way. Ah, you must have enjoyed the same. Ah, uh, on the ninth day of Navratri festival. like you know you organize some sort of puja and you feed the girls who are around 9 and 10 year old you know about that no sir just i know about that on that day we like uh, we sell we like uh, we do puja in our house and decorate our mm-hmm. house mhm so did you decorate it like did you decorate your house or your room yes sir i decorated my house so would you like to go ahead with the topic we do have a interesting topic today uh if you get a chance to select your own nickname so which nickname would you like to have you can select your own nickname like your sister have one yeah, except you know from the ritika that's your real name you got a choice to select your own nickname Is there anything in your mind? Have you ever thought about it? Yes, sir. I have never thought. Hmm. Okay, you can take it now. Is there any name? No, sir. But uh, in my house, my grandparents call me Kitto. Kitto. Hmm. That's a good name. Kitto. So should I call you Kitto from now? I don't know, sir. If you like it, so you can call. Ah, uh, I'm fine with both. Like Ritika, okay, Kitto, that's okay too. You know what? We do have nicknames, and the reason for having those is, uh, you know, when we are child, not everyone can call with the complete name, and most of the time, in you know, earlier times, you can say ten or twenty years before, the kind of names which people used to keep were quite long. For example, um, Yogesh Ora. <laughs> My name is Yogesh. Like it's still a middle one, uh, like smaller. But there are people with names like uh, Ram Gopal, Yogesh Ora, Jagannath. So that's the kind of big name. And you cannot call a two-year-old, three-year-old kid with this sort of name. Yeah, just just suppose like calling with such a long name and the children is not so small. So that's why that's the concept of nickname. and one reason might be because it sounds cute the short little names yes sir okay. the, uh, short names are easy to pronounce like what we say hmm. you can say that easy to easy. call yeah it sounds good it is easy to call and you are less likely to forget like most of the real names they can match from the other person because uh, okay let's just take an example your name is ritika and i am pretty sure in mumbai you will find at least 1000 ritikas <laughs> one more than 1000 girls with this name because you know we do have a big population and this is a common name so that's the reason if you have a nickname so you got two identities if someone thinks like hey ritika which one oh our kid too ah now i got it <laughs> Do you understand? I understand, sir. Good. Okay. Ah, uh, why do I think like we have already discussed this topic? Mm. And was nowadays I am getting this kind of feeling in every single session. So, are you afraid of something, Vedika? Because you you are still in your childhood. I'm not going to ask the past words. And what are you afraid? Although you can tell if you were afraid in past too. No, sir. I'm not afraid. Ah, okay. There isn't anything like lizard. Is it okay if you see a lizard in your room? How would you react? Sir, it's not okay for me. I'm scared of lizard and like animals. <laughs> But you said you, you are not afraid. You told me. But I'm scared of animals. Mm. Mm. That's what mean. of being being afraid to be afraid of something you are scared of something then you are afraid of that creature okay let me think most of the girls they are afraid of spiders 
spider spiders are small creature not too ah but they are okay i won't say they are it's ugly these are not ugly but still they don't look good i don't get a good feeling whenever i see a spider how about roaches uh, sir i don't know what is called roaches so can you explain okay, sorry uh, that's that's a slang term for cockroach uh, most of the americans they say like instead of saying cockroaches they just say roaches or roach i'm scared of cockroaches okay. i could you say it for me roaches roaches yeah that's how you call cockroaches in this language uh, although it's not a formal word but it's pretty popular so you can remember it pratika uh do you look more like your father or like your mother in terms of your facial structures and other features i don't know so I... you, you don't know ah you should know you can ask you can ask your father like papa do i look more like you or mother i really don't know i will ask them uh, how i look <laughs> Okay. After the session, do this. Like you need to evaluate. Just look at yourself in the mirror. Then try to look at your father's face, then mother's face, and then try to decide. Like ah, I'm close to maybe mm, it can be father. <laughs> All right. But I know my younger sister. How she look like? Like my younger mm-hmm. sister. Uh, her name is Radhika. She is her nickname is like uh, Chuya. So I know <laughs> her. she look like Pari. Pari. Okay. Now nah, I have three sisters. The eldest mm-hmm. one is six month old. The second one is two years old. So I think mm-hmm. it's Pari, which is two years old. So I think my mm-hmm. four years old sister look like her only. Okay, and how about the other sister? You other sister. do have three. Yes, the yeah, uh, the youngest one in the uh, who in the family is really cute. She doesn't like an anybody, but she look like a like uh, we like. Um, uh, we must have heard about fairy godmothers like that. Fairy. Yeah, that was the word. I, I was, I was just thinking, like whether I should tell you this word or not. You can derive it, but you already know. See, it was in your mind somewhere. You, you were just not able to recall it. Anyways, so the youngest one, she doesn't look like your mother or father, and you know any of your family members. She just like a fairy from some other dimension, and you, you don't know about yourself. So there is still one more left. Uh, mm, sir, which one? Oh, you do have. You are three sisters, right? Ritika, yes. the youngest one, and there is, should be one more. Total four, three there and one. Oh, okay. So you are four siblings. Okay, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. So, okay, uh, tell me, mm, what kind of food do you like? I like. all the food but i do not like uh, but i uh, because uh, i'm uh, because i do not eat what we say like i eat vegetables so non vegetable uh, that and then like something we call it non vegetarian non vegetarian okay you don't eat meat like the non veg stuff i do not okay. eat <laughs> okay so what do you Uh, love to it. Like, is there any specific dish you really love? Your most favorite dish? Yes, sir. I like chor. Like, my mother and my mother cook uh, <laughs> like something. What is it? What? <laughs> puri. Like, she make puri sometimes when festival comes. Okay. Okay. Maybe celebrate. Mm, so we celebrated. So that's why mother made puri. So nothing. Okay. You, you you could say. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, there is a little correction you can make when you say my mother cooks. Use cooks. Verb cook plus s. 
because you are telling something which a uh, fact a statement so you got to use verb plus s or es if the subject is singular which is your mother and she is a single person okay okay sir i will so, use now stick in it it means like uh, the time of action is not known we don't know about uh, the exact time when the action has happened if we talk about the continuous it it tells the state of action that the action is not completed it's still going on if we talk about the perfect state it means the action has been completed it started somewhere in the past and right now it's it has been completed like it's just in completed form that's the state and you do know about the perfect continuous it means it was completed while you know it, it was going on somewhere in the past and now it is completed yes um, means uh, i have written it the tense of a verb tells us when an action happens like right exactly so uh, i'm not going to go too deep into the grammar i'm just going to tell you a little bit about simple present aga present indefinite that is something there are only two categories like two conditions when you will be using this the first okay there are three actually but the third one is not really a uh, you know mature condition so the first one would be like if you are telling something which is an action a repeated action which occurs you know too often for example uh, at what on what time you get up like i morning, usually get you usually are awake on what yeah get up in the morning 5 o'clock because i have to go school on 7 o'clock so i get up early mm -hmm. okay so do you like uh, do this every single day is it the same time every single day okay every single and do do you go to school every day yes sir i i like going to school because it's really fun mm, teacher teach that's that's amazing that's amazing and how often do you go out for plane like a plane 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 like just to play outside in evening do you go often yes every day after my uh, when i have some free time all right so here is the thing see you are doing these activities the activity of waking up going to the school and playing you are doing it every single day and if i ask about like school you do take a week off on sundays you don't go to school right but still there is a, some form of pattern the continuity because you are going to school 5 or 6 days in a week then there is a break then again 5 6 days in a week then again there is a break so you are doing it quite often there is still a sort of repetition in that action so whenever you see a certain repetition in any activity be sure like you have to use this sentence this tense present indefinite that's the first category first use for the repeated actions second use if i say mm, there are some universal truths which cannot be you know declined or you can say you cannot tell them like hey this stuff is wrong for example if i say mm, the sun revolves around the earth wood floats on water if you you know take Uh, a stick from a tree or be it a wood like um, like this one i think you have one i like guess made of wood i just have covered it with the tape for my personal use but still if you you know throw it in the pond or maybe a river it will start floating okay it won't get dipped it won't get submerged in the water so that's a sort of universal truth no matter what kind of wood it is if you throw it in water it will float about the sun it's it always like do this activity it revolves around the earth or okay i must it up like it's the earth which revolves around the sun sorry for that so those kind of universal truths we use present like tense like we call them like whenever somebody is doing any like eating or sleeping so we call them verb like that uh, right see the eating activities these are the verbs 
anything which you do if you can classify it as an action something you did be it eating writing sleeping working dancing and jumping it can be anything these all are the activities okay and you can use these activity word in forming the sentences and you need to check the state as i told you the indefinite continuous perfect perfect continuous these are nothing but states these tell you about whether the action is completed or is it still going on or it is like the time of the action is unknown you don't know the timings or like there are other cases so the four forms it just tells you give you and gives you an idea of the state of action the other thing the present past and future these are the timelines so you could say the time plus state equal to tense tense is nothing but uh, it just tells you about the time of action and the state of action do you understand yes sir okay so your work uh, it's going to be a homework what you need to do is you have to find out the activities which you day do every single day for example you already told me the activity of waking up in the morning and going to school so add few more activities which you like to do every day which you do every day not just like okay like and it. make yeah so sir i have to write those like uh, if i say for, for example, if i uh, you eat breakfast every day okay so I like i can write like this i wake up at 5 o'clock like this or uh, other yeah, side yeah time. exactly you have to just write like i wake up at 5 o'clock it is a present indefinite tense like this is the activity which you repeat okay if i say like uh, um he there is a boy and he goes every single day to play outside in evening so you can make a sentence regarding that he goes out to play in every evening like he goes out to play in playground or you can even add the term like every day or whatever so you just need to figure it out like the activities which you do it can be every day it can be once a week it can be twice a week and it can be some other person do it's not just limited to you it can be your sister or your father for example my father your father goes to office every day you can make a sentence like that uh, do i have to write uh, how many sentence means uh, how many lines Only i have to write like five sentences five. just five not much okay you could do it like it it will hardly take 10 or 15 minutes all right so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed the session sir but uh, you forgot something mm. oh i you gave you a little to... homework i remember yes sir but uh since we are out of time today so i'm going to check your homework in the next session along with this one which i gave you today all right so make sure you arrange both of those and yeah see you in the next session any questions do you have any questions for me no sir i don't have but uh, i like i can make that, um, that uh, which you said you have to make five lines of Uh, like what so can i make myself or my father or anybody it's up to you you can you can make you your for yourself as a subject or you can just use uh, you know any person it, it it's it's not applicable it's up to you i'm giving you the freedom okay okay sir i will complete the homework all right well uh, i guess it's time to wind it up so bye bye see ya Have a nice day ahead, and make sure you complete the homework. Okay, sir. I will complete the homework. See you. Bye, sir.